Welcome back to the weekly vlog. My name is Mike. With me here is Hi. Mackenzie, and there's Lincoln hanging out right over there. And you're joining us just in time for goat time as we head out to the top. It's stupid, crazy, windy out here. Um, so we're having goat time tonight in the shop as we kick off Monday here on the weekly vlog. And big announcement today. It smells like Scott. Smells like Scott. It does kind of smell like Scott out here. Big announcement uh, today, and I'll tell you once we get out of the wind here. Hi. Big announcement for today is that today was the very first day of school. Jeff, how was your first day at school? Oh, it was so fun. <laughs> what grade are you in now? Is it third grade? Third grade. <laughs> like 62nd <laughs> grade. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in 48th grade now. I'm a professional student. Yeah, no doubt. There are people that do that I for know. a living. Not Probably not a bad living, actually. Can, well, if you can get enough grants and, and stuff sure exactly uh aaron how was your uh, first day at school <laughs> did you feel like you could actually get something done around the house no no oh, no did you feel like you got anything done i got stuff done inside i didn't yeah. get anything done outside because no. it was the weather is windy and blowy outside. outside hey that's mine this is jack by the way that's <laughs> bean <laughs> <laughs> kenzie how was your first day it was good what did you do that was fun? Uh, I made my own name tag. You made your own name tag? You have to have name tags at school? Mm hmm On your desk? Yeah, on your desk. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. How was your first day of kindergarten? Tell that. Yeah. <laughs> that good, huh? Was it fun? Do you like your teacher? Yeah. Yes. Did you make a friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, so great first day? Great first day? Say yes. <laughs> How is third grade? Yeah. What'd you do that was fun? Nothing? Nothing fun in third grade. She'll get there though. Did you have recess today? Yeah. Yeah, we had an extra recess. You had extra recess because it was the first day? Maybe? No? What are you going to do tomorrow at school? I don't know either. Alrighty, let's uh, check out goat time here. You wanna play with the goats? Goat? Okay. Do something fun. Do something entertaining. So you may notice that we're down a goat. Unfortunately, uh, Rose passed away. Do you want to take him? I'll take him. Okay, you take him. Oh my gosh, he's so big. Unfortunately, Rose passed away uh, this last week, but uh, we are left with Jack. But I want you to stick around this week because we might have a remedy to that problem. <laughs> okay, don't let him eat all your hair. You need some of that. He likes hair. <laughs> okay, let's go for a ride. Oh, it's all mattering goat slobber. Good morning and welcome back to the ranch. Uh, I'm bringing you with me today. We're going to go down and cake the cows. I am uh, I could head through that field over there, but I don't want to open gates. So we're going to sneak down the highway really quick and uh, head down the oil field road to get us there as quickly as possible and back. So 
so there's a couple things that are kind of hard to convey uh, on the ranch that I run into all the time, especially when filming uh, for YouTube or, or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, is, well, there's two things. Number one is the contour of the land. It's hard to, it's hard to show folks that it's not just flat, and that's one of the one of the things we get a lot when people do come and visit or they're in the area and they say, you know, that I thought it was flat and it's not. There's definitely lots of hills and ups and downs and, and uh, we have to deal with lots of places for cows to hide, uh, which is not so much of a good thing, but um, there's definitely lots of coolies and crevices and high points and hills and all kinds of good stuff that that we do have to that we do have to watch out for. So. Um, that's one of the that's one of the things that's hard, kind of hard to convey is the is the contour of the land. The other thing is actually the size of the ranch, and that's that's one thing when we came here in 2008 that I looked at and I was just like amazed. Uh, and especially I drove this this very same road that we're on right now, uh, the very first day that I came to the ranch, and, and it was. A matter of like when do I when do I get to the end? How big is this place? And it's not the biggest ranch in Wyoming, that's for sure. It's not even the the 50th the biggest ranch in Wyoming. It's probably not. It's not even in the top 100. I can almost guarantee it. Um, it's uh, it's a few thousand acres that's uh, that's spread out, obviously. Uh, but uh, it's definitely it's definitely a good chunk. So it's a, and it's a question I get all the time, like how many acres is the ranch? And I can say it's over 5,000 acres or whatever. And unless you really have a really good sense of these type of things, I mean, how do you know how big an acre is? Well, I mean, it's relatively hard to describe it, unless you if you work around acreage all the time I don't even know if I can look at a piece of land and say that is 20 acres I mean I, that'd be pretty hard to do so one thing that uh, that you can do is, is you can say one acre is, is a, almost the size of a football field if you take out the end zones so um, that's that's about an acre and so thousands of acres getting, you know, is end to end. I don't even know how many football fields, uh, what, 5,000 football fields out here, I guess. I mean, if, if, I guess we want to look at it that way. But it's hard to tell the, the, the average person uh, how big the ranch is and have them be able to, to see it without actually seeing it because we're heading back to cake the cows, which means we're heading back, uh, any, depending on where the cows are, uh, anywhere between five to six and a half miles is, is how far we're driving back to find the cows. As we come over this little rise here, now I, I doubt you can see them, but I'm gonna try here. We're gonna stop for a second. And uh, we're still on that main road. And I can see the cows. I don't know if you can. So we're gonna try, see if I can show you where they're at. Now we, we're a long ways from them, but I'm gonna see if I can zoom in close enough to where you can see. Now this is times six magnification. You're gonna see my big fat finger come in here somewhere. There it is. Thing. Right down there, times six magnification. Those are the cows. Way, way, way back there. I wanna roll you back to where we're at now. That's how far the car, cows are still away. And we've driven already three miles down this road. So let's go find them. Cake. They also like pushing the gator around. Gator's still moving. I'm not actually pushing anything. They're just pushing me along. Okay, we're gonna sneak on over here. We're gonna get this cake out of this thing. Um, cows are chasing us back there. Great. 
come over here. A lot of the cows, they're a little spread out, but they're most of them are rolling right here. So we're gonna work on getting this dumped here. I think I might have dropped the cake just a little bit too fast. Maybe, you know, more of a pile back there than I did spread it out. And this is why I need to get the cake feeder back up and running. I'm not a huge fan of feeding cake out of the back of the, the gator. It's too hard to control as it comes out. But they've got cake. They'll push themselves around. And they're getting cake pretty much every single day at this point. So they'll get it pretty much figured out, but I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of cows that aren't gonna get cake today, and there's gonna be some cows that are gonna get a lot of cake today, because I managed to dump it into one pretty big pile, or at least a, one big strip. Okay, get in there. Get some of that cake. Tomorrow, I'll have to do a better job of cake, and that was, uh, that really didn't work very well but that might be on the project list again. Figure out something for the cake feeder. Uh, we've done the trailer deal with it. And we've done, obviously, the back of the gator. I don't like having the back of the gator because I can't see anything and blocks my view all the time. Um, I might have to try to figure out a different way to do the cake feeder, but we'll figure it out. In the meantime, Cal's got cake today. Whether it was a successful cake or not, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, we'll call it what it is. And, Tomorrow is another day. Hey gang, welcome back to Wednesday here on the blog. Uh, so video's out, new video's out on Wednesday now. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about that change and, and why that happened. But um, I also just finished labeling all these orders. Luckily enough, check out all these orders back there. It's crazy, um, big old pile. Sale going on on the website. In fact, um, when this comes out on Sunday, um, that sale will still be happening. It's going to go on until midnight on Sunday. So you'll be able to uh, to grab stuff on the website, 15% off, talked about in the video, blah, 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 blah. But let's talk about something else right now. Get this video camera locked down here. Okay, so um, for ever, um, not forever, for quite a while. Um, we, uh, we've been making videos on YouTube since 2017. Uh, I started out with one video on Sundays, which was a lot of fun, and I was able to put a lot of time into that. I think I went up to two videos at some point, and um, yeah, three videos here and there. Uh, for the last, since we started the daily vlog, which is your, what you're watching now, um, we've been doing three videos a week for the past month or two or so. And honestly, like, it's a lot of work. <laughs> there's there's, there's a ton of work that goes into it, and it just feels like I'm just turning and burning, and I'm just trying to get videos out as fast as possible. Um, so what uh, what I decided to do, and, and you may have read about it in the newsletter if you received that, uh, we sent that out on Monday. Um, we said that uh, we're gonna be cutting back on videos. We're gonna do a Wednesday video, and then we're gonna do the weekly vlog on Sunday for a little while, and kind of see how that works. And, and uh, Honestly, yeah, it, feel, it feels better to me. Um, today, uh, I ended up with a, I was gonna film yesterday, there was a hiccup there, so I, I ended up having to go over to Sturgis and uh, deal with some jerky issues. Um, and then, uh, so I decided to film today, and it was windy and all this kind of stuff. But um, ended up getting that video out. Uh, comments are rolling in, and now I just answered a couple comments. And of course, like I said, uh, finished packing up all the jerky orders and getting those out. So um, I did get a few emails back from the uh, from the newsletter, which went out on Monday, uh, about the change in schedules. And some people weren't too happy. They were, you know, a little upset that we were going to be uh, taking out one taking one video out of the rotation. Uh, I explained in the newsletter that I wanted to do um, two videos so that I could spend more time on. On the videos themselves and have a little bit better um, production in the videos, a little bit more planning, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, I think it's a good thing, but I did get a, quite a bit of, a, you know, this is this is horrible. You're you're knocking out a video. Um, 
Uh, I got a few emails that were, hey, you ran out of stuff to talk about, and you know now you're just gonna you know slowly fade into the into the nothingness of YouTube. Um, you know, I got a couple that were about time <laughs> that's that you start going away. Um, but uh, for the for the, the really the real reason that uh, that we wanted to um, take a little bit uh, take a step back was was for the production value and being able to put out um, good content. Um, another reason is that you know it's not a it's not a matter of not having content or not having things to talk about. It's not having time, and I'm realizing more and more um, the the more that we do and the and the more um, the different ways that we monetize the ranch itself um, and through the farm store and online sales and I'm working on trying to get uh, you know online beef sales so we can actually ship frozen beef and I'm working with some shippers and, and stuff like that with that um, I'm finding that yeah it's, I'm running out of time there's not enough time in a day and I've got kids and kids went back to school this week so um, it's it's you know now we're into after school activities and all that kind of stuff it's been uh, it's definitely a, a learning curve as we go. Every single day is different around here. So being able to give you guys what you need and being able to do what I need to do, um, there's definitely um, you know some compromise that has to happen there. So I didn't want you to think that if you saw the newsletter or you know obviously you may have noticed that there was only one video this week that came out today on Wednesday, um, that uh, you you were you were missing something or that uh, you needed to jump to conclusions and say, oh, you know, they're, they're going away or they're doing this or they're doing that. It's just a matter of being able to find the time to do all the things that we want to do and the things that um, are going to uh, benefit not only us, but also other producers, other small farmers and ranchers. That's one of our main goals is to be able to be a proponent um, for uh, agriculture as a whole. And that's something that we want to do. And if I have to take a video off because I have to fly somewhere and do something, or I have to be in a commercial, or I have to you know record something for a TV show or something like that, um, then, uh, then, then I have to do that because that's part of being um, the the you guys have have taken us from a level of just being um, people that put videos out on YouTube to being somebody that you know sometimes people want to hear from. So um, that's that's a trade off we have to make. So that's that's why we're going down to one video a week. But I do want to um, you know say thank you very much to, to everybody who's been ordering this week from the website. That's helping out immensely. Obviously, we're still buying hay. And uh, a lot of this advocate for agriculture stuff doesn't really pay. It's just more um, going out and and being who we're, who we need to be um, for the industry, uh, for other farmers and ranchers, and for agriculture as a whole. So that's what we're doing, um, and we're going to keep on doing what we do. Uh, we have new videos coming out, obviously, and lots of cool stuff on the way uh, as we get into preg checking and and uh, and selling calves, um, keeping back steers farm store stuff, uh, preconditioning, excuse me, um, you know, just all that kind of stuff. So, and then, you know, this, this daily vlog or the weekly vlog is a chance for, for you to get to know us even better. So, um, if you came this way from a, uh, a regular video and you said, Hey, I want to, I want to get to know these guys better then this is a great place to do it. So I am, the kids just got home from school. Um, so I'm going to go down and hang out with them for a little bit and answer a few more, for a few more comments on the, on today's video. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, it's Thursday here on the ranch. I've got uh, Aaron here hanging out with me. And I promised a big surprise coming up this week. And uh, we've got that surprise in the back of the car as we pull in here, over here uh, by the sale barn. and. We are going to back up just a little bit and hopefully not run into anything because I don't know what's back here. I didn't pay any attention. Mm -hmm. Down dolly my dolly. Tripod. Yeah. All right. Let's go out and see what we got. And we've got some dirty goats. Some dirty, dirty goats. <laughs> smells like goat. <laughs> what do we got here? Goopy, stinky goats. They are mini Nubian goats. Come here. Come here. They're a little bit younger than Jack is. Um, if you remember, we lost Rose about a week ago. You guys need a bath. So, 
Um, so, these guys are going to be Jack's new friends. Aaron's going to take those two. Do you, can I grab one? Yeah, you can do it. Come here, girly. Oh, geez, you're so big. So we got the boy here. She's a girl. And then the one you're holding is a girl, too. Another girl. So two girls and a boy. I'm going to bring them back. Jack, boy. You got some friends for you. Here, let me unlatch. Hey, where are you going? What do we got here? Oh, Jackie boy. Oh, oh we got some friends. Ugh, look at you guys. Oh, Jack doesn't do you, care at do all. Do you want help? Oh, do you want help? Because you're such a baby. Hi, Jack. What are you doing? Huh? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? We got your friends. Let him go see his little little brothers and sisters. Oh my gosh, they're so much they smaller are than a you. Lot smaller. Look how big you are, Jack. Jack, you grow so much. So we got to uh, after school bring the kids back here and come up with names for each one of the new three mini dwarf. Are they mini or dwarf? Mini. Mini? mini? What's the difference between a mini and a dwarf? I have no idea. Okay. They're goats. We know that much. We literally know nothing about goats. We know enough to keep them, well, I was going to say we know enough to keep them <laughs> alive, but that ain't true. Uh, so, yeah. Um, we know enough to keep Jackie alive. He's good. We, we still don't know what happened to Rose, but leave these guys alone and let them Yeah, we'll like, come back and check on them in bond. just a few. And okay. We'll keep a close eye on them. Okay. 15, 15 minute checks. 15, 15 minute checks. Okay. They get bottles at, they were getting bottles at three at their old home. So Jack gets his bottle in the morning. We'll probably switch them to morning bottles. But for today, because they haven't had food today, we'll give them a bottle at three. At three. Yeah. Okay. Cool deal. Stick your head back in there, Jack. Do you want to get in there and play with them and show them how to, you know, work stuff? I think they can. Think they can figure it out? Yeah. Okay. All right, close that up. I'm gonna turn on water and uh, we'll come back and check on them at, uh, at feeding time. <laughs> Where are we going? To feed the goats. To feed the goats. The new goats? All the goats. Did you come up with any names yet? No. The children will have some sort of ridiculousness to... We're gonna end up with Star Child Moon Cloud and S Goat Skywalker. Kind of goat Skywalker? Oh, has Bean met the goats yet? No, I thought maybe we'd do that too. That might be kind of fun. Oh, Bean, you're outnumbered now. <laughs> in there. What's in there, Bean? <gasps> Who's in there? <laughs> What's wrong, Bean? What's wrong? What's going on? <laughs> and I give you two. Yeah. Okay. I want Jack and one new one. You want, you want an old one and a new one. Okay. Here, here. Jackie goes out with the dog. Okay. Stay. Do you want the two boys maybe? Or do you think we should do boy, girl, boy, girl? I don't care. Pick me another girl. How about this one? It's all up here in my business. Hi. Jack's getting a bonus bottle, so he's super excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. You got that one? Yeah. Okay. So, they're doing it. Well, they should. Yeah, they're not, not babies. So Hi. Oh, yes. That's good goat kisses. There's a big on eating. The tail thing is cute. Hi guys. How was your third, fourth? Fourth, fourth day of school. How was your fourth day of school? Well, he's mad at me because I didn't get him a cake pop. You didn't get him a cake pop? I, didn't get, I got myself a drink. I didn't get anybody else anything. You didn't I'm get me anything? Mom in the world. Oh, I'm mad at you too. <sighs> I'm mad at her too, Lincoln. Hey. Lincoln, she didn't get me anything either. I'm mad too. I'm mad too. Girl. I love my book in the truck. Pout, pout fish. Yeah. 
You want to go see the new baby goats? Yeah. Okay, who wants to go see new baby goats? No. What? Mine. Mine? Me. Okay, let's go. Put your book, book inside. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'm in here. Get in there. Jack's so much bigger. Jack is bigger. Bean's still the biggest. Which one's the boy? Okay, the, yep, that one's the boy. Those two here are girls. They're pretty tiny. No, that one's the boy. Yep, that's the boy. I know you. Oh my, you're shy. Oh. Oh, She is shy. Why? This guy's not as shy. Oh, you're already picking up. Aww. Not heavy. No, they're little. So, we need to come up with names. Why do you got me super heavy? I'm not at You look like a Nilla wafer. Gummit hole. You do kind of look like a Nella wafer, but do we want to name a boy Nella. Mommy, my hair. Wafer. Oh, mommy. Wafer. You want to call him Wafer? Wafer. Okay. But her belly's hard. Okay, Wafer. She ate a lot. So that one's Wafer. Jack's eating your laces. Hey, Wafer. How did that get out? I took him out. You have a nose. Oh my goodness! You pooped on bags. Oh no! You got pooped on. Flick it off. Why are you Here. What do you mean? Why am I dripping? Why am I dripping? Boink. There's water coming out. I don't see any water. Okay, next okay. goat. Okay, what are we naming this girl? Does this one have a name? No. no. Jack's out. Yeah, he's fine. Iggy, you do not have a name. We when need to name the girls. When do we name you? Princess? No. <laughs> you, said, you said this one looked like Corella DeVille. Cruella. You already have something named Coco, Candy. It's a doggy. Yeah. Cruella. Cruella? Alright, so is this one Cruella? Yes, this one Cruella. Cruella. How about a boy? The boy's named um, Nella. Wafer. Wafer. <laughs> Wafer. <laughs> bring that one up here. Bring him. Bring that girl up here, Lincoln. Bring the girl up. We have to name her. What are you eating? What does she feel like? What's a good girl named Lincoln? Mm. Uh, Madonna. Let's name her Queen Elizabeth. No. <laughs> um. You wanted, you mommy, you didn't say princess, and now you want queen. <laughs> huh? Um. Maybe we need to think about it. Get to know her a little bit. Okay, so that's our unnamed one so far. So here's Koala? what you can do when you watch this video. You can put down in the comments. What do you think we should name the third goat? We probably will have a name. We might have a name by then, this. but you could comment. Maybe, Maybe you'll hit the nail right change. on the head. Yeah, <laughs> nail names do tend to change around here. So. Her ears look like Koala Deville's hair. But white and black. Yep. You're a little... My favorite thing about baby goat is that they're cute, they're fun, and they're cute. <laughs> what about you, Grace? My favorite thing about baby goats are sometimes they're funny and cute. Lincoln, do you want to do it? No. Hey guys, we're back down here with the cows again after a little goat break. And uh, I came down to cake the cows. By the way, it went better than it did uh, last. Oh, I don't even remember what day that was that I had the caking debacle when I dumped it all out in one big pile. But um, I'm down here checking cows and I'm noticing something that's a little weird and I don't know if it is anything, but I figured it might be interesting for you guys to come with me and check this out. So I'm gonna try to get you guys a, a shot of this. There's a bunch, I'm, I'm, they're either vultures, they're turkey vultures, or they might just be hawks. Um, but there's a bunch of them hanging out up here in this area. And usually that's not a good indication that maybe something bad is happening. So. Um, I'm gonna try to get you guys a video of what I'm seeing here, and then we can go up and check it out, and hopefully everything's okay. But this is definitely one of those things that we have to check out and make sure that there's nothing that we have to uh, deal with. Okay, I'm gonna try to get you guys zoomed in over here. So this is, this corner of the fence, you can see there's two hawks or vultures or something sitting there, and then up here on this hill, there's another one 
sitting right up there. There might be another one behind it. And there was a fourth. I don't know if I can get a shot of him or not. It's up there just flying around, circling around the area. So what I'm looking at, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but I think it's worth going and seeing what's going on. Um, so we're going to head up that direction. See what we can figure out. There are a few cows uh, up this way. Most of them are down towards the wooden windmill again. But there's a few up here. I'm going to just uh, quick look here at what's going on up this hill. So there's still one sitting right there on the side of the hill there, if you can see him bouncing you around here. It's, you know, usually you see one, not that big of a deal, but seeing four all hanging out together, especially when we've got cows down here. get to this thing over here see if we can figure out what it is if it is a turkey vulture so I get a little closer without it flying away where'd it go there it is it's facing the wrong way for us to see but I think it has a little bit of red on its face and that's usually that vulture look oh my gosh there's another one it just flew away literally just hovering there in the wind not even moving this is harder to do than you'd think okay so we still have the two remember those two that I showed you that were sitting on the fence post they're still hanging out they haven't moved we're within Easily a hundred yards of them at this point, I think. And here comes the one. Enjoying his friends over here. So that's three, and then we still have this other one. I can barely see the top of its head. I'm sitting right there. I'm trying to swing up. See if we can get a good look at it. Yeah, that's a turkey vulture the red on its head I might be able to zoom in even more once we get the video into editing now the big question is what are these guys doing here she's gonna fly down there probably and hang out with her friends we have four turkey vultures all hanging out together and unfortunately, when you see turkey vultures, that usually means there's something dead around. I don't see them that often. I maybe see them once every few years uh, up in this area. I'm sure they're here, but I just usually don't see them, especially, you know, four of them like that, all sitting in a row. That's kind of cool. Although they usually are the, uh, the bearer of bad news. So I'm gonna do a little uh, drive around. We're gonna look around a little bit and see if there's anything that I'm missing. Now they're all facing that direction, back that way. Um, but that could be because they want the wind to their backs. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean there's something in that direction they're looking at. But we're definitely going to check down that way. First, though, we're going to circle around up here and just make sure there's nothing. And we're going to head to a high spot, which is a big old hill right on up here. But we can get a good look down and around. Kiddos. So what I'm looking for, as I kind of scan through the countryside here, obviously there's some cows down there. You can see them way down there. There's number 134. Hey kiddo. Hi, I don't have anything. I already did the caking thing. Um, way down there there's cows. You can see those guys. Um, there's some cows over there. There's some more over there. Him out like a sore thumb. Um, you can 
see Cracker Jack way, way, way down there. Um, thankfully, I'm able to zoom in with the camera because that does actually help. But I don't see anything that looks like a carcass right down there on their fence post. So we're going to drive through a little bit uh, over in that direction, the way that they're facing, because I don't see anything over here. And honestly, they're not on anything. Uh, so you'd think if there was a carcass out here, they'd be off eating, but maybe they're anticipating something. We always see that in the in the cartoons or whatever, where the vultures are circling um, the guy that's going across the desert. Well, it could be that there's a sick animal somewhere out here. The vultures know it's sick, and they're keeping an eye on it. So we're going to head down that way, the way that they're facing, just to make sure. But I don't see any animals that are down or... Um, that we really have to worry about at this point. It's a good thing. We're gonna go a little off-road. So there's our turkey vulture friends. Let's stop here. No bouncing you around. So we circled around. There's our turkey vulture friends all sitting on their fence posts. All four of them. And we're gonna scan down this direction kind of drive through a big chunk of field here a big chunk of pasture just make sure there's nothing out here that they're paying attention to okay so I don't know if you can see it and I don't know what it is if it's a cow or what it is but there is a black something right up there we're gonna go up and check that out. Pile of tires. That's a good thing. Okay. Just gonna follow this fence line back around as we're heading back towards home and just make sure seeing anything and again it's it's a part of you know the ecosystem right so you you do definitely start to pay attention to what's happening uh, around the ranch where how other animals are reacting to your animals how other animals are reacting to your animals um, you know vultures are a good indication like if you see a vulture there's probably something to eat um, or maybe there's not but it's definitely worth checking out so even if there is nothing, you know, it's, it's worth the extra time just to make sure. All right, we're up here uh, on what is probably one of the highest points on the ranch. Might be a little windy up here. Not even sure if I'm gonna be able to use any of this audio. Uh, but uh, this is a good chance to stand up, a good place to stand up here and take a look and kind of do a scan around and make sure that uh, there is anything going on there. I can't see anything, so I'm going to say that uh, uh, vultures are now sitting way down there. So if there was anything in between us and them, I think they would have taken it. better safe than sorry and coming up here and, and sitting on this high point really uh, does make me feel better because I don't see any animals out there any uh, little black dots or or any calves or anything else that that, that looks to be in trouble so that's uh, that's good enough for me and uh, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>Project for me anyway is probably one of the the ones that I most dislike um, And that has to do with the chicken house. And that's cleaning the chicken house Actually, there's two things that I could really do without there's cleaning the chicken house 
And then there's chicken processing day, which I really don't like either. In fact, I'm not really a fan of washing eggs either. Maybe it's just chickens. Maybe I just don't like chickens. But either way, uh, it's windy, nasty, uh, but it's not a bad thing to do indoors is get in there and start cleaning out the chicken house a little bit. I'm gonna kind of spare you most of that. I know this video is probably already running a little bit long because we had a lot go on this week. But um, we one thing we are gonna do while we're over there is we have our baby chicks, uh, the ones that are less than six months old, they're on one side of the chicken house. On the other side of the chicken house, obviously all of our full grown chickens. Uh, the ducks and the geese are getting a little big uh, for the baby side of things. So we're gonna move them out of the nursery today and put them over with the big chickens and, and the big ducks and geese. And hopefully uh, they can they can make friends and, and bond up really quick. So we're gonna make sure that you guys see that. Then I'm gonna go clean the chicken house and work on that for part of the day, or at least until I get tired of it and then come back and pick it up later. But uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up our week here on the weekly vlog. Remember that the, um, uh, the back to school sale still happening on the website. So uh, all throughout today, if you would like to get on there, uh, save 15% on beef jerky, glassware, merchandise, uh, honey, all kinds of different stuff, hats, all kinds of stuff over there. Um, you can uh, you can check that out and save yourself 15% as part of our back to school sale this week. So we're going to head over to the chicken house. I'm going to grab a sweatshirt. I know I've got one somewhere. I think actually I might still have one in the gator. So I'm going to grab that. It is just a little bit chilly. And I'll meet you guys over the chicken house. Hey, look, we're back in the gator. Um, I'm not really sure how often I clean the chicken house. Probably not often enough. Um, I should, you know, honestly, like I really like to just burn it down. I think that if I could... If I had a chance to rebuild the chicken house, because I built this original one, um, oh man, uh, what, in 2009, maybe? Maybe 2010? Um, but I built this chicken house, and honestly, I didn't know anything about building a chicken house at that time. So it was very much uh, uh, just build a building, which I really didn't know much about either. Uh, but I, I mean, it's still standing, which is impressive. Uh, but it, there's lots of things in there that I would have changed, and especially the way that I did the flooring and stuff like that. But that's neither here nor there. It needs to be cleaned until it blows away or it burns down. And uh, then I'll have to build a new one. Uh, and to do that, we need all kinds of tools. And basically, I really don't need much. I need a scoop shovel, and I need either a wheelbarrow, or sometimes I use uh, these garbage cans, uh, which are a little bit easier to carry in and out. So get those gathered up but really like I said I, what I want to do is get these ducks and geese moved out so we're going to do that and then hopefully um, after Jeff is done having lunch he'll come over and help me clean out the chicken house so for right now we are going to grab a shovel to help us get this done the door there. <laughs> that would have been no point. Okay. I have no idea where the other ducks and geese are. Um, probably hunker down somewhere. But these ducks and geese in here I just want to kick out. They'll probably hang out down here in this area. this really quick. All right, chicken. Where are you? Okay. So I think, I don't know if that's all the geese and ducks or not, but okay, they're going to, I'm going to show them where the pond is at. So come on, guys. Come on, go to the pond. 
Come on. Come on, let's go in the pond. Hey, keep going. Come on. Oh, that's Mama. That's the other zoo. Show them where it's at. Show them where the pond's at. Come on. Oh, there's the other ones. All their ducks and geese over there watching the commotion. Watching what we're doing. I don't know if you can hear a word I'm saying, but that's cool. All right, come on. Everybody come together. Smile on your brother. Come on. Come on. We really only have two ducks out of this group? I thought there were four. Okay. Keep going. Old ducks, new ducks, old geese, new geese. Come on, guys. For us, I guess what we got to do is go clean the chicken house. But, like I said, I'm not going to put you through that, so I'll cut you loose. Oh, the peacock's over here seeing what's going on. Hey, bud. He lost all his tail feathers this week. Winter coming in. Tail feathers go out. And just like his tail feathers, we're out. We'll see you next week right here on our Wyoming Life. Worst job ever.